Hello, I'm Jelena Relic, Magnetic International Trainer and Ambassador for the Balkan region. And today I will show you a couple of tips and tricks how to make a modern almond shape. Let's start with the normal preparations um, of the natural nail. Start with disinfect of the hands. Be sure that you don't go over the nails, just the skin. Use a nail cleaner to clean your metal implement, making sure that it's completely clean and dirt free. After that, spray your nail with nail cleanser and push back the cuticles. With another side of your pusher, please remove the skin from the nail plate. With the blue boomerang 220-240, we will remove the shine from the natural nail. Be sure you always file in one direction. We don't want to overfile the natural nail. Mud will be far more than enough. After filing the nail, remove the dust very carefully and check if there are any shiny spots with, which will indicate that the nail wasn't filed enough. And remove the edge of the natural nail. With modern almond, the nail form has to go a little bit upwards and to be able to push your form toward the ceiling, it's very important that you remove the edge of the natural nail. Otherwise, it will be very hard to put the form upwards. Wipe the dust, close your table towel, we don't want any dust close to our nail forms, and clean the nail again with a nail cleanser. After cleaning the nail, you can use an old napkin and remove the dust from the finger. This will make sure that the nail form sticks to the skin very well and that there will be no movement. Today I will use competition nail forms, but you can also use stiletto nail forms, whichever suits you better. In the combination with metal nail form support, I will be able to make a beautiful shape before I even apply my product. I turn my form upside down and I place my metal nail form support behind it, not going too deep into the smile line of the form. Before I start cutting the excess of the metal, I will check the shape of the natural nail, the smile line of the natural nail of my client, and cut it in advance towards to her smile line. After that, I will choose the correct size of pinching stick according to the size of the natural nail of my client or model and I will make my nail form round. Please be sure that when you are making it round you don't pinch in the nail form otherwise you will get uh, the nail that goes inside with the lower hairline. Before you place your form you have to see what is the direction of the finger. Some of the clients have a very flexible finger that goes upwards. In this case, you have to adjust your form so it follows completely the middle line of the finger that goes through this part here. With this model, her nail is completely straight, so I will be able to put a nail form without any problem or any complications. And I am looking if I have to cut a little bit more of the smile line, but also I am checking the bites of a natural nail as I need to cut my form at the angle of 45 degrees, so I am able to pinch it a little bit more after I place it on the finger. When we are placing the form for Russian almond shape, it is very important that a nail form goes a little bit up. There is a nice trick how you can check if your nail forms goes high enough. We all know that the apex uh, will be at the two-thirds of the natural nail, but also we know the height of the apex. Normal height of the apex is between one and a half and two and a half millimeters. So knowing the thickness of our apex, we can put our pinching stick and we can see the position of the form and the position of our future nail. If you see that the end of your nail, the hairline of your nail, is touching the end of the nail form, that means that your form is 
high enough. But if there is too much space between your pinching stick, like this, your pinching stick and your apex, that means that your nail form is not high enough. So you have to replace your form so it goes completely straight with the upper arch. I am placing my form a little bit upwards and then I will slightly touch the lower tabs with my uh, thumbs and release my fingers towards the ceiling or towards myself. Never pull the nail form down as then the form will go down and you will ruin your position. When you place the form before you pinch, check the position again. After we pinch the form and we close it down, the form will go a little bit upwards, which you have to calculate into the position of the form in this moment. Take the correct size of pinching stick, put it inside of the nail form and close the upper tabs, being really careful that you don't rotate the tabs as this will produce a rotation of the whole structure of the nail. Keep your pinching stick inside and close the upper tabs and then close the lo lower tabs going straight to the finger of your client and pushing the nail form a little bit upwards with your pinching stick. Check if the position of your form is parallel to the middle line of the finger so it doesn't go to the left or to the right. After that, I will use one size smaller stick and close down my form a little bit more. With modern almond shape, the side walls of the nail form has to be a little bit more flat because the uh, C-curve of modern almond is calculated with oval, not from round. I will use my pinching stick or metal spatula to make the sidelines a little bit more flat. After you place your form, we will apply a product. Apply a little bit of clear powder. This bead has to be a very small bead and the thickness of the clear has to be like a thickness of a paper. This will make sure that our nail will be able to be pinched afterwards but also we will make a very nice base for our camouflage powder. Before you continue applying camouflage, wait for clear to stop being a little bit sticky because that will help you with an application of camouflage. The shape of camouflage has to be um, an almond shape of the smile line. I take my liquid, I put my brush and I wait for 4 seconds so the liquid from the belly goes to the point of the brush. Place it on the nail, turn the nail down. After the product start curing a little bit, take the metal spatula, put it in the liquid, wipe it and try to make a sharper angle of your smile line. Then we will take a little bead of pink, place it close to the cuticle, don't work too wet, but close to the cuticle. And fill in the cuticle area with your product. After this we will wait for our product to be cured enough so we can pinch it. So now we are pinching our nail. When we pinch our nail, the first thing we pinch is a stress zone and we try to pinch it completely flat, so not going on the natural nail. Please make sure you don't cause any pain to your client. After that, I will pinch a little bit, so I will pinch here, not close to the natural nail, but a little bit above. We place our pinching tool, but completely straight and also at the stress zone. After the product is cured, we will remove our pinching clamp and perfect the smile line if there is any need, making sure you make 45 angle degree
And if you want to make a perfect end of smile line, you can also use electric file. You can use a cuticle carpet bead to cut in your end of your smile lines, making sure that they are perfectly sharp. After removing the dust, we will clean our nail again with nail cleanser, making it dust free and ready for the application of white. The application of white, it's very important that your product is applied evenly, so when you pinch, the pinching is very even. This is why we will try to make extension edge with one ball, and I will use the movements of pulling and pushing, not only with the belly of my brush, but also with the neck of the brush itself. For making an extension edge in one ball, you need a little bit bigger brush. Today I'm using number 10, the Emperor, but you can also use a bigger brush. Try to make an angle at the end of your shape in advance. Now we will wait for our pinching moment. When the product is cured, try to remove it. But be sure it's cured enough. After removing of the nail form, first pinch completely flat a stress zone, being careful that you don't go over the natural nail and be careful not to cause any kind of uncomfortability with your client and no pain. After that, I will pinch an upper part. As you can see, I don't pinch the lower arch. If I pinch the lower arch, it will go inside. This is why my pinching tool is a little bit curved towards the ceiling and I'm pinching the upper part of my extension edge. After pinching, place your metal pinching clamp on the nail, making sure it's completely straight and that it's following the middle line of the finger. While the product is curing, we will prepare ourselves for filing. We use exactly the same files like we use the normal filing magnetic system. The first thing we file is always the sidelines of our nail. Turn your finger and check your nail from your client's perspective. When we file an angle of the nail, we always hold a nail plate, a natural nail plate, otherwise it can be very uncomfortable if we move the whole structure of the nail. So please hold it very strongly and start filing your arch. After that, of course, we will go to the cuticle area, making sure the product is filed nicely and thin around the cuticles and after that this is a very important filing movement we will make a small and flat platform on the upper part of the nail and with continuously movements straight movements i am making my platform straight while we are filing this platform it's very important to check the thickness of your hairline so you don't over file your nail if you want to check if your platform is straight, please put your file and check if the file is completely and perfectly straight on your nail. If there is any bump, it will be very visible in this moment. So you have to file a little bit more. After that, I will go back on the sides and I will file my sides completely straight. After that, our task is to just make the whole nail a little bit round. The starting position of the file is completely flat, but we don't file that side. This is just the starting position. We file other places where we need to curve the nail. That's these edges here. So I start completely flat with my file, filing it round and finishing completely flat. Going back, making it round, 
and finishing of complete with flat. After I file that part, I will go and I will make my, I will blend my apex inside of the nail. And at the end, I will make my lower arch perfectly straight. Lower arch has to go completely straight from the finger, but also the lower and upper arch has to be perfectly parallel. After filing with normal filing steps, we will go with a smooth operator to be sure that we are removing all the scratches from the previous files, but again using the same movements we did before. Remove the dust and for the last time, check if your nail is completely straight. And if you want to make it perfectly straight, you can also use a software file and make your lower arch really, really straight but also your angle from the side. Clean the nail with a nail cleanser, being sure that it's completely dust free as we will now apply supreme finish. I always start from the middle of the nail going towards the table, making sure that my product doesn't go into inside of the cuticle. Cover the whole extension edge. The nail can go two minutes inside of the lamp. Looks like it goes down. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope all the tips and tricks I showed you will help you to make this beautiful shape, the modern almond, and that you will be very successful in making it. Thank you very much and goodbye.